this. This is New World Order to me means freedom and democracy. The place where I heard George Bush and Bill Clinton talking, I, where from, from the point of view I had, they certainly were friends and they didn't recognize any party lines between them. That's something for the, you know, a smoke and mirrors illusion for the public. It's not something they adhere to because they had exactly the same agenda and that was for bringing in this New World Order. interesting car because what it represents here you're seeing the man uh, with the hard hat you're seeing the tattoo on on his arm there that represents the military and industrial power of the nation the man uh, with the coat on and the dark hair that represents our political power that represents represents government look down at the bottom we'll have to put something in the water what's interesting is is that they're shaking hands but it's not fingertip to fingertip. It's wrist to wrist. Brothers and sisters, that is a secret society handshake. Now, at the end of the war, good old George made a congressional address right after that war. And in that, he said some interesting things. And nobody caught what he said. Nobody. Now look what he says. With this conflict and war now behind us, we must strive towards a, here it is, new world order and reach for the thousand points of light. And as soon as he said that, everybody in Congress stood up and gave him a 10 to 15 minute standing ovation. And nobody bothered to say, uh, what's a thousand points of light? You know, I mean, that'd be the first thing we'd be asking, right? But nobody bothered to question that. And he said that at least four to six times. I talked to a lady uh, just recently in Baltimore. She came up right after the meeting in Baltimore, and she came up and she said, everything that you said tonight, I can verify. She said, because I was George Bush's campaign manager. And she proved it. She pulled out the campaign uh, manager badge that she had when she was campaign manager, when he was going into to, for, for a presidential election. And she said, I was there the night that he made that address. And she said, now I understand what that meant. Because she said, I looked at George and I said, after he stepped off the platform, I said, George, I want to be, I, I don't know about that new world order thing. She said, but I want to be a part of that thousand points of life. And she said, he grabbed her by the shoulder, looked her sternly in the face and said, I have no control over that. Now, what's interesting is that term, thousand points of light, is actually a Masonic term. And what you're seeing here is an actual Masonic symbol. And you see the compass actually is the base of the pyramid that we looked at on the seal. You see the capstone at the top, the all-seeing eye and the illumination coming out of it. Because what it actually means is to reach the final illumination of man. If you will study the Masonic order, one of their main goals, or one of the main goals for a Mason to reach, is that final illumination, where you can become a god. And no wonder, because the god of the Masonic Order is Lucifer. Watch this. Lucifer is the god of the Masonic Order. In a book written by Bishop Albert Pike, let me tell you who he is, he is the man who is the forefather of Freemasonry. He is the man who brought Freemasonry over to the United States from Wales. And in a book that if you're ever able to get a hold of it, most of the time you go into the libraries and people will, will tell you that they no longer have it, somebody stole it out of the libraries. Or if you go on the internet, you can basically get it. But it's called Morals and Dogmas of the Ancient Accepted Scottish Rite, page 304. It says, Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light and with it splendors intolerable, blinds feeble, sensual, or selfish souls? And then he says, doubt it not. On page 321, he says, yes, Lucifer is God. So there you have it. And what he's actually referring to is a global Luciferian network. 
remember I told you this thing is so fast, it's not just nationwide, it's global wide. If we had a, a small globe, a small plastic globe of the world, and we had like little pinpoint lights all inside of that thing, and we were to turn off all the lights in the room and just turn that, that globe on, where all you saw were those little lights, that's how fast this thing is. That's why they're able to establish what they're wanting to establish, and that's why they're close to getting done what they've had planned for the longest time. Never since Keep America moving forward, always forward, for a better America, for an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of light. This is my mission, and I will... America for an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of